All right, today we are taking a look at the Hornady two liter uh, lock and load sonic cleaner. Uh, I really hate cleaning guns, so I figured this would be a cool way to uh, go ahead and clean my stuff with uh, effortlessness. So we will, all you gotta basically do, uh, turn it on, the heat button, warms up the temperature to 135 degrees. When this goes solid, that means it's up to temp. Uh, the degas is when you hit the function over here to degas. It gets the bubbles out of the solution. Um, so I just run that. It says in the manual, you know, it's better when you're putting solution in there. The solution is this stuff right here. I have the gun parts formula in it right now. Uh, there's also, this is meant for cleaning uh, cases. So they have a case formula. And then I'm just using standard uh, distilled water. And it's a ratio of a half ounce to 20 ounce. So I just poured 20 ounces of water in there. And that got me up to a, just a little bit of a level that I need. Put a, a cap full. I'm hoping a cap full is a half an ounce. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but it seems to be all right. You can kind of smell the, the solution. It's kind of like a cleaning solution. So I've got my CZ P10 barrel here from a primary machine that is dirty from the last time I shot it with a suppressor. So we're gonna throw that in the mix. And I've got my 1022 charger barrel here. You can see it's pretty nasty on the front there. And the threads are super nice there. That is the um, Pike Arms barrel. And I've got the 1022 charger. Well, I guess it's just the charger, but same as 1022. I've got the bolt here, so pretty gross. So I'm gonna throw that in there. And it looks like I need just a little bit more water because I'm not fully covering that barrel. So I'm just get a little tad bit more water in here. And I'm not gonna worry about the solution being stronger or not. I'm just gonna let it run. Put the cap, cap here on which is gonna kind of not show you really what's happening in there. So maybe we'll leave it off to show you how, how it works here while it's running. All right, so I'm gonna, I've already, I just ran this on a, on a test barrel, a Glock barrel, and it was fine. So I'm gonna just let it run, even though it's not fully preheated. Uh, you set the timer here. This goes up by five minutes, all the way up to 30, and then arrow down goes down by one minute. So I'm just gonna run it 30 minutes. Uh, we'll, we're just kind of playing around with seeing what what times work for all this. So I'm just gonna run that and I will run it. And then I'm gonna probably pause the video, come back when it's all done and show you what it looks like then. So I'm gonna do this here. So on this degas, it does 90 seconds of the degassing. So you see it just kind of pulses it for a minute. So it is for 90 seconds. Pulsing, I can see the grit coming out of the firing pin channel. On the it's kind of amazing. So it's been running 50 seconds. I don't know if you can see that on the screen there, but it's just starting to come out. Of here. What I'll probably do is once it's running, I'll inner stick, uh, inner cut, close up. All right, so we're coming down in the last 30 seconds of the run. It has been running for 30 minutes. 
and I'm not sure why the heat light comes off. If I hit the heat again, it goes back on, but it kind of turns off on its own. So I assume it's self-regulating the, the heat need if it's going below 135 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So we will take a look at it here. Got five, four, three, two, one, and zero. No alarms or anything, just kind of goes off. Got a little steam, got the condensation build up on it. Alrighty, let's see if we can, not sure if I want to get my hand down in there yet. Let's just see. So it's in the manual it says to run cold or run uh, water over it. Uh, and that'll clean it up a little bit, but yeah, that's pretty hot right now. We'll look at that in just one second. And that's hot. Alrighty, got one more barrel in there. Wipes off there. Alrighty. Let those cool. I'm going to run some water over them and uh, I'll come back and show you what they look like when they're all done. Alright, so all I did was I ran these under some water, just to get the cleaning solution off. And I did just run one patch down the bore just to make sure there's no crap in there. But I just sprayed it with a little bit of ram oil, nothing crazy, and wiped it down with a rag. It looks pretty good. This one's got a little bit more on the chamber there. Probably could do it in a few runs, but I think that's gonna be okay for now. The uh, CZ barrel looks pretty good, did the same thing. One quick patch down the bore, and that was it. Let me see if I can get another. Yeah, so just ran a patch on the bore, wiped it down, sprayed a little bit of rim oil on there because you got you're just putting bare water on it, so you want to get a little bit of lubricant on there so it doesn't rust or anything. And then this guy here is the bolt to the 1022 or the charger, I should say. Uh, breech face, a little bit of gunk still in there. Probably could have ran it twice, um, but other than that looks pretty darn good so so far I've been happy I'm gonna experiment with some different uh, solution times and all that stuff but yeah so far the Hornady lock and load sonic cleaner 2 liter capacity is good so far